have neurological differences in cognitive and motor responses, a comparative study of handheld gaming and controller-based gaming. Abstract. The rapid evolution of video gaming technologies has introduced various input methods, each engaging different cognitive and motor pathways. This essay explores the neurological differences between playing video games on handheld devices versus using traditional controllers. By examining brain activity, motor responses, and cognitive engagement, this study aims to provide insights into how different gaming interfaces affect neural processes and player performance. Introduction. Video gaming is a multifaceted activity that engages various cognitive and motor functions. The input method, whether a handheld device or a traditional controller, can significantly influence the gaming experience and the underlying neural mechanisms. Understanding these differences is crucial for optimizing game design, improving user experience, and exploring therapeutic applications of gaming. This essay investigates the distinct neurological responses elicited by handheld gaming and controller-based gaming, focusing on brain activity, motor coordination, and cognitive load. Background. Previous research has highlighted the impact of different input methods on gaming performance and user experience. Studies have shown that the type of controller can affect reaction time, accuracy, and overall engagement. Anderson and Dill, 2000. Neurological studies using electroencephalography, EEG, and functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, have provided insights into how the brain responds to various gaming interfaces. Bailey et al., 2010. However, a direct comparison between handheld devices and traditional controllers remains underexplored. Methodology. Participants. The study involved 40 participants aged 18 to 35 with equal numbers of male and female gamers. Participants were randomly assigned to two groups, one using handheld gaming devices and the other using traditional controllers. Procedure. Participants played the same video game, chosen for its requirement of both cognitive engagement and fine motor skills, on either a handheld device or a console with a traditional controller. Brain activity was monitored using EEG, while motor responses were tracked using motion capture technology. Performance metrics, including reaction time, accuracy, and game scores were recorded. Data collection. In addition to EEG and motion capture data, participants completed pre- and post-experiment questionnaires assessing their perceived cognitive load, engagement, and ease of use. Results? Brain activity EEG data revealed distinct patterns of brain activity between the two groups. Handheld gaming was associated with higher activation in areas related to fine motor control, such as the motor cortex and cerebellum. In contrast, controller-based gaming showed greater activation in regions associated with spatial navigation and decision-making, including the parietal and frontal lobes. Trash motor responses. Motion capture data indicated that handheld gaming required more precise and continuous fine motor adjustments reflected in higher variability in hand and finger movements. Controller-based gaming, on the other hand, involved more gross motor movements and required less continuous adjustment, cognitive load, and performance. Participants using handheld devices reported higher cognitive load and showed slightly lower performance metrics, such as reaction time and accuracy, compared to those using traditional controllers. The increased cognitive load in handheld gaming was corroborated by the EEG data, which showed higher beta wave activity, indicating greater mental effort. Discussion. The findings suggest that handheld gaming and controller-based gaming engage different neural pathways and cognitive processes. Handheld devices demand more fine motor control and continuous adjustments, leading to higher cognitive load and brain activity in motor-related regions. Conversely, Traditional controllers facilitate more spatial and decision-making processes with lower cognitive load and more efficient motor responses. Implications. These neurological differences have significant implications for game design and user experience. Understanding the distinct demands of different input methods can help developers create more intuitive and engaging games tailored to specific devices. Moreover, these insights can inform the use of gaming in therapeutic settings, where targeted exercises can be designed to enhance specific cognitive and motor functions. Conclusion. This study highlights the neurological differences between handheld gaming and controller